It's the start of a new strand in the show, a new quiz, a new competition to replace Rockbusters. Now that's quite a tall order, but yeah. what have you done? Right, like I said, right, if you've only just tuned in, what it is, I've took, and I'll be taking, a well-known saying every week from the show, something that crops up a lot. Uh, first one that sprang to mind was... There's a little gay fella standing next to me in the urinal? That's next week. Okay. This week, there's this airy Chinese kid, right? Yeah. That's cropped up quite a lot. Sweeping the nation. Right. So what I've done, I've got five songs... Yeah. And I've edited them together to make that saying. You've got words you've, f from songs where any part of that sentence occurs yeah. to recreate it. Yeah. Now, what do they need to do? Do they need to say what the song is? Just the five songs? I mean, I, I was going to say song and artist, but if you want, just the song. So five, there's five things there, and if someone doesn't get all five, it's still worth emailing in because we might give it to the one who's got the most and then... Yeah. Uh, Can I suggest uh, we go for artist rather than song? Only because sometimes it's quite tricky to get a song title. Sometimes it's more it's very odd or it's not quite what you think it is. So maybe artist is a is an easier one. Do, are you happy with that, Carl? It's your composition. Right? I mean, Steve always does this whenever I come up with an idea. Oh yeah. I'm just trying to make sure it's just the best it can yeah, be, Carl. Yeah. yeah. No, he came up with a few game shows and Steve was going, "No, it's no good." And Carl said to me, "He said it's the one of the office ever got on telly." Yeah, but well, we shall see how cheap his chimps plays out. But oh, frankly, yeah. the fact that. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you said to me, Steve, I've come up with the best game show ever, it's called Cheapest Chimps, what's the idea? I don't know, I just like the name. Uh, it's something to do with chimps. I thought, well, I'm not sure that's the best, the best game show ever. And well, what was I the other one you came up I with? I think that you told a me few that? people will be disagreeing with him, Carl. I think people will say that Cheapest Chimps could be the best game show ever. You know, when I was at school, people like you, I really didn't like. You're a stirrer, Gervais. He flits, doesn't he, from one side to the next, Carl. The one thing, we may argue, mate, but at least we're consistent. Ricky Gervais flipping from one side to the other. One day he's Carl, on Carl's side. when was the last time Steve wrestled you to the ground and got you in a leg clamp? No, you're right. Never. What, is, is that supposed to be a good thing? Well, did you see us? Yeah, I saw you struggling in the, in Carl's office earlier. He was punching my legs to release me. We were on the floor. And I was squeezing him with my mighty legs, wasn't I, Carl? Right. It was like, I imagine that's what a crab feels like when an octopus has got it. <laughs> we were playing that, weren't we? So anyway... <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll play you this clip now. It's ten seconds long. We'll play it a couple of times, because you'll need to take it in. Mm -hmm. uh, so here it is, then. Uh, what are we saying? Are we saying artists? Let's go with artists. Artists. So email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Name the fa five artists it has taken to make up the saying, Give there's that email this address Chinese again. kid. Give that email address again. ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. There's this hairy right. Chinese kid. Here we go. <laughs> play it again. Let's play it again. There we go. <laughs> I think you better play it once more. Oh, uh, I've got them. I've got them. Have I've you got, got them all? Yeah. That's nice work. There we go. There I can just go. remind you now that the prizes include a uh, Red Dwarf DVD, Marion and Jeff, the first series of that on VHS, uh, a Live Forever Britpop CD, and also the very best of Leb Ze Led Zeppelin. Let's play one of those actually while we're here. Brilliant. Rock and roll. and what is he to you. We have not had any successful answers on your quiz, Carl. We've had people who've got you get a maximum you put of four. A duck in a microwave. Yeah, yeah. Bill with us. Nice. All right. Cheers. Um, and uh, so I'm not talking about I'm not talking about um, cheapest chimps. That that's safe. That's going to run and run. That that is going to run and run. That's really got legs. Uh, we're, I'm going to check the press Monday. I can only assume it's a triumph. <laughs> exactly, another Pilkington triumph. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to give the prize, if you don't mind, Carl, to Karen and Jeff Gillian, because they're the only one that got, they were the only couple that got uh, the second answer, which was very, very But tricky. they got four today. But they only got four but right. four is the top answer, so should we give so the answer? now? So play it, Carl, and then tell us who each one is. All right. <laughs> so 
So there you go. I didn't know the second one. There's Quite the Cherry Chinese kid. So the first one, the last. Yeah, the last. Yeah, right. That's George Harrison. No. That's Philip Bainish. And that's Deacon Blue. Right, so it was it was the Lars. Yeah, what's the second one? Strokes. Ooh, that was very tricky. That is hard. George Harrison that's for Harrison Airy, Harry. that's all I could get. It was Ari. Uh, Ari Christian, yeah. yeah. Uh, no. Uh, Chinese, Phil Bailey. Chinese yeah. War is. Yeah. And Deacon Blue, Real Gone Kid. Real Gone Kid, yeah. There's this Airy Chinese kid. Very, yeah. very hard. I love the fact that the normal bit of that, like, the normal bit is like the well-known phrase, there's this Airy Chinese <laughs> yeah, kid. Yeah, exactly. Like, Nothing happened there. That's normal. There's this airy <laughs> Chinese kid. As a phrase that often- In fact, you're right, we must have said that phrase twenty times today. <laughs> what- when was the last time that was said twenty times? Never. I don't think it's ever been said anywhere. There's this airy Chinese kid. I don't- I mean- Even in China? I don't think it's that- well, it's very rare. Definitely not said in China. <laughs> uh, song's a phrase. Uh, what it is. Song's a phrase. <laughs> Go we, on. We took a phrase from the show last week. It was- there's this airy Chinese kid, right? Yeah. Today, we're going back to the good old line of, uh, about you never see an old man eating a Twix. Sure. Right? How long is that? No, you'll never see an old man eating a Twix. You'll never see an old man eating a Twix. It's not as many as you think, though. No. It's not that many. Well, how is it not that many? Right, well, first of all, anyway, don't worry about that. I think there's about five, I think. Hang on a minute. Oh. God, why do we leave him alone to do this? I don't Steve? understand. Do you know what I mean, he always, it's like I tell you what, we were flying six, then. Six different songs. Six different songs. That's a lot to get, Carl. But what happened is, I couldn't find a song with Twix, so we've changed the chocolate. Ah, oh, this is rubbish. <laughs> we're not doing it. We're not doing it. No, I mean, you've got to be punished. We're not doing this. Do it next week. No, you're lying. No, 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 no. Shut up, Carl. No. Uh, well, to, no, 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 we're not doing it. He's put a lot of effort in. So what? You're right. He's got to do it right. He's got to <laughs> no, do it right. No. There's too many, we said too many. It's not, he's changed the thing, it's not a one of those. It's ridiculous. No, it's only, pointless. Rick, if only his parents had spoken like that to him sometimes <laughs> in the past, <laughs> maybe we, I mean? we, we wouldn't right. have this discussion You're not there. doing oh, it. Come on. No! We're not doing it, Steve. What, have you, uh, what do you think? What I'll tell you, we've got the prizes, but yeah. I'm not even going to bother giving, I'm not even going to bother. I think we'll just share it out amongst, um, homeless. Absolutely. No, no. There's, there's troubles in the world, and I'm not gonna let you faff around doing nonsense like that. No, well, it's ridiculous. Well, let's, let's do- Carl, the big question, as we know at the moment, is whether we're gonna let you do songs of phrase or not. Rick, I should tell you now, mad. there has been a flood of- oh, no there hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was- I was thinking there'd been a flood of emails, but it was <laughs> people agreeing with you, Rick. I know, I know Tony Blair has been trying to get through. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, um, I'm just checking the emails. No, there's, there's absolutely nothing supporting so you, Carl. So, no one gives a side either way about No, well, that, no, that's not then. fair. There was, there were a couple of phone calls, weren't there? One was the guy saying you should have. I think the other one was you, Carl, was it? Phoning from the kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> Can we so, do it? Can we do it? Right. Uh, no. If you don't like it, we won't do it next week, but, but no, you've, the fact but, that but I've made it. I don't know what, I don't know why you did that. I, we I thought of uh, lots of stuff that you could do. You chose one where you have to have... Ten words and six songs to choose. You haven't got Twix. I don't know what you've substituted Twix for. I okay, I mean, I, I've got to say now, I'm going to sit on the fence, so I, I'm quite intrigued. Okay, right, what, what, what have you substituted Twix for? Well, you, I can't well, tell here. you. Because you can. No, I can't, no. because people have to listen to it and work out. Alright, let's just no, hear it, let's hear it then. No, 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 no. They, uh, they know what, they have to know what the word is, they have to tell what the song is, or the, or the artist. I prefer just to play it. No! You've got to tell them what it is, they might not even know what word they're I looking think for. Just, let's just, let's hear him out, Rick. Right. Please, right. democracy, that's what we're fighting for. <laughs> Come <laughs> on! Right, you turn them up. Right, okay, I'll put the headphones on. Go on then. Right. Okay, so right, hang on, the phrase originally <laughs> was... Is, uh, you never see an old man eating a Twix. Right, and we're trying to identify the, well, a number of songs which you've used to make up that phrase. And you email in xfm.co.uk slash ricky with as many as you can get, and whoever gets the most right can It's win so stuff. complicated. This it is, is so not complicated. Right, here we go. Here it's we go. So I'm baffled by the email address. <laughs> I couldn't what figure was that the out. email address again? <laughs> xfm.co.uk slash ricky. Right. 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 And there's um, some link on there, is there? That, yeah, that right. you just press and it comes through. Brilliant. Isn't that? Right, here we go then, right? I Well, I missed a little bit at the end. Let's hear it again, let's hear it again. Mars, bah, bah, bah. <laughs> let's hear it again. Uh, 
<laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh god! So okay. Right. Right. So right. we'd say the prizes, Steve. Right. So how many songs were there? Uh, Do we know? I think it was six. <sighs> you think there was six? And you'll never see an old man eat. Oh, it might be five. Five or six. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> why not email in the answers and how many there were, and uh, you might be in with a chance of winning. On DVD, the original series of Citizen Smith with Robert Lindsay, that was good. Uh, Paul Whitehouse's uh, Happiness, the first series of that on DVD. We've also got a couple of CDs here. The Best of Britpop, Live Forever, Oasis Blur, Radiohead and all the rest of them That's on there. Right. Supergrass's uh, current album as well. That's I right. think it's a current album, yeah it is. And um, okay. less convinced by this one. If I tell you that some of the artists include a Delamitri <laughs> and uh, Deacon Blue, then I know you'll be rushing out later, Rick, to buy this. Scotland Rocks! <laughs> a compilation <laughs> of... Is wet, wet, wet on there? Uh, let's see. What about bits? What happened to bits? Let me see, I'm not gonna... I tell you, it doesn't... I mean, we've got Gun on there. Oh, yeah. We've got, Oh, uh, baby, lately. Uh, Aztec Camera. Yeah. Uh, Big Country, obviously. Uh, Proclaimers not on there. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, where's Runrig? There they are. <laughs> there they are. And, uh, obviously Rafferty, Baker Street. Do -do 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 -do. Brilliant. So that's, uh, that's definitely worth, um, entering for, surely. So, xfm.co.uk forward slash Ricky. It, play it one more time. Yeah. Just, just in, <laughs> class. Pure class. Well done. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's give it to it. Brilliant. Right, now listen, so that's that done. Yeah. We've done that as well. Yeah. We're running out of time, we've got okay. like five minutes left. Winner for Songs of Phrase. Alright, give us the answers. Right. This, we did this at the start, we haven't even got time for the film thing today. Oh. Oh. But, we'll do that next week. Yeah. Uh, songs of phrase, it was a phrase, uh, you never see an old man eating a Twix. I love the fact that we go, we haven't got time, like, it's, we've had such important stuff and it's been so jam-packed and interesting, we don't, not that it's been drivel with gaps yeah. we could have filled much better. Yeah. Don't yeah. look at it like that, like, oh. What, with his film quiz? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, dear. So, songs of phrase, you never see an old man eating a Twix. <laughs> we had to get, change it to Mars Bar. <laughs> here's, here's what we had. <laughs> Jerry and the Pacemakers. Echo and the Bunny Man. Oh. <laughs> David Bowie. David Bowie. <laughs> and the Beach Boys finished it. Oh, what do you mean? I thought that one was. What do you mean? Um, Who's the winner? Oh, it doesn't matter. You've got to give the answer. Who was that one you didn't know it was us? Uh, it was Jim, Neil Young, wasn't Jim, it? Jim Crochet, is it? Old oh, Man yeah. River, it's right. called. Jim Crochet. Something. Old Man River? Jim Crochet sang Old Man River. I don't think so. What was it? Who cares? Right. Well, people. Oh, I can't believe this. You. <laughs> oh. Old Man River. It was. Let's let's give the prize to Jim Crochet. Wouldn't have sung Old Man River. Or let's give the uh, Paul Robeson. Let's give the prize to Mitchell Sterling, um, who has got some of the answers right. <laughs> <laughs> on XFM 104.9. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be playing that great quiz again next, yeah, week. next week. This week we're, uh, do you remember the story about my auntie having wind for five minutes? <laughs> yeah? Your yeah. auntie, was it your auntie Nora? Auntie Nora. Um, she was on a lot of medication and stuff. <laughs> sure. And I think that's a side effect that comes with it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, she had wind for five minutes, so I thought we'd, we'd dig that one out. Okay. A classic <laughs> line. Uh, my auntie had wind for five minutes. Okay. So I've got loads of songs here. <laughs> How many is that? Um, me, Auntie, had wind for five minutes. Seven tracks. Oh, that's tricky. Oh, why seven... do you learn? Okay, so you need to identify, if you can be bothered, the artists. Yeah, that's what we're artists. after, isn't it? Alright. Okay. Let's go. Wind. Oh, wind. Just remember, as many as you can get, because the yeah. winner would probably be, you know, it gets five or something. So don't worry if you there's a couple you can't get, because you could still probably win. Go, go on. Again. Can I just what's the email address? It's, well, if they go to xfm.co.uk forward slash Ricky, they can just they send can, them through there and they that. Can send them through that way. Right. Uh, which of these is the uh, the prize bag? Yeah, don't we get them mixed up?
<laughs> that's that's the one, is it, Carl? Yeah. All right, so let's see what hot treats you could win. Um, as I get them out, Carl, do you want to play it once more? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I recognise all of them except one. Yeah. Right, let me or see what we've got two. here. Uh, oh, once again, Carl, you excelled yourself with an arbitrary collection of DVDs. Just hanging around, were they? Just hanging around. Um, again, I'm always interested to know which of our XFM listeners um, has tastes as broad as this. Go on. Uh, we've got the recent B BBC adaptation of The Hound of the Baskervilles. Brilliant. Mm, okay, very nice. That's we've right. got, uh, what's this? Is this the, this is um, something involving air. The band Air. I yeah. think it's a, a single at best. Yeah. Uh, this is probably worth having. This is the current Flaming Lips album. So you excelled yourself there, actually, Carl. That's not bad. An XFM mouse map. Oh, they're, uh, they're as common as muck. Oh, hold on. You can't give away that mouse mat. It's a piece of foam. <laughs> now I was going to dismiss the um, the oddball sci-fi movie K Pax featuring Kevin Spacey and Jeff Bridges, but Carl, is it it's signed, signed by Kevin it's Spacey? Signed, yeah. It's signed. Yeah. It's yeah. an actual. So that. So uh, win that and put it on eBay for four pounds <laughs> fifty. <laughs> and. Uh, Man alive. What is that? Just look at oh, their faces. Oh, no! Carl! Don't give that. No one wants that unless it's ironic. Series 1 and 2 on DVD of popular uh, northern based sitcom Bread. Buy it, sell it, the game's getting hard. Cos someone's dealing you a losing card. <laughs> all right. They all had a go, all the actors <laughs> had a line on that song. Oh, uh, play the, the clips again. Play the go. clips again, I really want to win it now. Here we go. <laughs> I can't believe this hasn't been done before. <laughs> the emails, I should point out, aren't flooding in on the No, but it always takes time when they go through the website. Does it? Yeah. Okay. So th they'll be arriving in a bit. Do you want to play it once more for those that have just joined us? All right, then. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> My auntie had wind for five minutes. Brilliant. Genius. Mainly artists. Right, I'm gonna play this thing again, because it is a bit slow today, the email. Oh, yeah. uh, because right. it's too hard! It's not too hard, there's just clips of songs. What are the artists? Email in. <laughs> XFM.co.uk. He's getting annoyed, because he put the work in and well. no one's good. He's getting annoyed! Oh! Remember, I think Kevin Spacey. Uh, and the signed k pax DVD is probably the only incentive to try and have a go at that one. Do you think you could win by getting one of them? <laughs> exactly. Uh, in They're coming in now, okay. <laughs> this is electronic. Right, let's get the answers, let's get this out of the way. Songs of Phrase. Songs of Phrase, uh, just in case you've just tuned in, it's a new feature we've been doing. Uh, we take songs and chop them up and that, and uh, it's, a f it's a phrase that has cropped up on the show a few times. This week, we we, uh, we were going back to the classic, me auntie had wind for five minutes. Going <laughs> back to the classic. And, uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's have a, have a listen. Okay. Yeah. Right, so what you had there is you had the knack. Yeah. With my, 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 my Sharona. Sharona. Uh huh. Uh, auntie was some Manson track. What, you don't even, you don't even know what it was. Um, auntie everything I think it's called, some album track, right? Then you add Bill Medley, Jennifer Warnes, I have had the time of my yeah. life. You add Bob Dylan. Wind. wind. Idiot wind. Blowing in the wind. Oh, blowing in the wind, was it? Uh, what was after that? Four. Four was, uh, two, well, four, no, six, four eight, was motorway. Two, four, six, eight, motorway. Yeah. Tom Robinson. Tom yeah. Robinson, yeah. That was the four. Then you had the five from Manfred Man, Manfred Man, five, yeah. four, three, two, one. We wrapped it up with a bit of five star yeah. for a minute, something about, uh... Can't wait. Uh, yeah, can't wait another can't minute. Wait. Another yeah. minute. So, they're the answers. Yeah, We're well, looking I'm for someone who, I don't think we got anyone who had them all right, but Nobody got all right. seven, although in your little, uh, answer list then, you only listed six. Cause yeah. Cause you got, your numbers went out of sync in your own brain. Well mm. done. Once yeah. again. Smooth. I tell you what, Carl, why don't you next week at least write down the answers for yourself? Don't need to. Well, you clearly <laughs> do, cause you just embarrass yourself. <laughs> don't need to! You've proved that you do! <laughs> right. Yeah, what is it this week? What's the, what's the phrase? Where, um, remember the story I told you ages ago about, uh, about my neighbour having a horse in the house? Oh, yeah. Having a yeah, a horse, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, what's happened with that? Lenny Henry doing it as a series? So, uh, uh are people nicking your ideas left, right and centre? Well, that's, that's the phrase we'll be using anyway. What? Um, my neighbour had a horse in her house. How many words is that? Six. My neighbour had... So, there's no grammar either. My neighbour had horse in the house. 
my neighbour had horse in house. <laughs> what it wait, what is the phrase? My neighbour had horse in her house. Add or, add, is there, oh, are there any <laughs> prepositions? Are there any prepositions in this sentence? Look, don't judge it beforehand. You see, okay. I'm turning over a new leaf. I think this is a great idea. I think Carl's a genius, and I look forward to hearing this enormously. Yeah, okay. And I won't be sick on your leg, or squeeze your head, or make you jump when you're making a cup of tea. <laughs> what have we got then? That's that. Right. That's the silly side. Now let's get on with the proper show. Right. <laughs> song, songs, a phrase. Yeah, let's yeah. do that. Um, on to the classy stuff. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to do the prizes first? Right. Uh, no, then we're Here they are. I haven't seen these, but I'm excited as ever. All right, we have a T-shirt there, arbitrary T-shirt that you have probably stolen off of someone. What does it say? Duh, duh, duh. Is it the red, the red hot chili peppers? So oh, that's, that. that's not too bad. It's a big T-shirt there. Um, oh, do, 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 do. on DVD. This uh, should you be giving this away? This looks like it's the film. Don't say a word. Yeah. And it's um, it doesn't have all the proper packaging. It's literally the. Uh, the disc, the DVD disc, just loose. So enjoy that. The current album from Oasis, uh, Heathen Chemistry, uh, DVD, on DVD, The Life of Mammals, the complete series of the David Attenborough recent DVD, uh, that. Walking with Caveman, which I think is a DVD, it's all currently on TV, isn't it? And, well, there um, you go. Not also bad. the X-List, which is a good new compilation, double CD compilation from XFM with loads of stuff on there, including Nerd, Snoop Doggy Dog, uh, Athlete, all sorts. Go on then, Carl. So not bad, actually. Simple nice story. one. Why right, don't? so, uh, yeah, it's a phrase that, that's been said. At some point, I've said a lot on the show. We've had like airy Chinese kid. We went back to uh, my mum had wind for five minutes and that. Uh, today we're looking at uh, my neighbour had a horse in a house, right? Yep. If you remember, we were talking about that probably about a year and a half ago now. Yeah, yeah, of course, right. people, of course, we remember. They've been talking about it ever since, Carl. I imagine. Yeah. Well, so it's famous. It's, the, it's a world famous phrase. My neighbour had a horse in her house. <laughs> right. So this is uh, this week's songs a phrase, and what I've done is I've got songs. With those words in that make up that sentence, yeah. you get our email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. There's six different songs, right? You email in with what? I what don't know. How there is six. Me neighbour add horse in house. Is it really that sentence? Me neighbour add a horse in a, a, a her house. It does work. Honestly, it works. Okay, yeah. Right? Okay. Don't bother explaining. Just ready? play it. Right, yeah. So here's the. Uh, there it is. We're just head horse in a house. Right? <laughs> what in <laughs> God's name just, was that? Yeah, name the six songs. Head horse in a house. Huh? <laughs> Are we naming the artists or the songs? Either. Uh, artists. Anyone who there. gets anything can get a prize. What's more, Carl? Artists, here we go. Head horse in a house. That's tricky, Carl. That's very hard. Once more. Head horse in a house. <laughs> <laughs> Email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. I'll give it. Another give it letdown. Give Another it letdown. It's brilliant, this. No. No. How can you just say that after I've just been stuffing grapes in my face and that? Well, you, fa you failed. You didn't get one burger in, right? Even when you tried to, to chop it up. There's three, right? So that's it. it. Steve, out of the goodness of his heart, went to McDonald's, okay? I got some grapes You at 62. That's got nothing to do with this, though. This is my uh, game show here. Bob Olness didn't say, yeah, Blockbusters is good, but I never see him eating grapes. <laughs> So this is a different thing, forget that. Right? Here's Eclipse again, here's Eclipse. <laughs> oh, you know I said I was going to turn over a new leaf and not criticise your ideas. I think it's the end of this one, mate. We should give um, the prizes away. Yeah, well, this, is, this has been dreadful, that, this thing. We started <laughs> off well with him trying to force burgers in his mouth, and then he'd come up with this tat. I mean, this is this is the end of this, because it's. I mean, it was shoddy to start with, now that it a couple. Well, this is. Oh, yeah. Not only. Well, uh, 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 I'm just saying. This is what I was saying in the pub yesterday when you tried to be sick on my leg. I was saying, come up with new ideas if you don't like them, but you diss them on air. Well, it's just disappointing, isn't it? And it's awesome, my neighbour. Uh, right. What's that? I was disappointed when I was choking before. <laughs> <laughs> we were disappointed as well. Yeah. You didn't try. You didn't try with the grapes. You were just like right. chewing on that. You meant to just throw them in and swallow them. Song's a phrase. It was six songs. It yeah. sounded like this. Boring. Head balls in a house. Well, what are they? Just give you answers. Six songs there. We had uh, Lionel Richie, My Destiny for my. Tricky. Neighbour. Oh, that's XFM. Ooh. My neighbour was. Uh, space. Space. Yeah. Neighbourhood. Mm. Had. Uh, Ari Connick Jr. Had to be you. Yeah. Right. It had. Your neighbour had. A horse. Horse America. America, yeah. Uh, had a horse. 
in, in, in was Lisa Sansfield with uh, <laughs> pathetic in all the right places. Oh, <laughs> pathetic! Did anyone get that? Did anyone get that? And no one got. No it. one got that. So that was pointless. All right. Well, the most well, any the most anyone got was three, yeah. and so uh, we're going to give it to Deborah. Um, okay, prizes to give away this week. You've uh, excelled yourself again. We've got once again Scotland rocks, the very best of Scottish music, Texas Deacon Blue, Brilliant. and uh, Jerry Rafferty. Proclaimers on there or not? <laughs> Proclaimers there. Don't worry, Delhi well, is on there as well. Don't worry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, don't worry. it's oh, based on there. It's based on there. I'm just checking to see if Midjur and Hugh and Gry feature, right, but they do. Right. Thankfully, I don't know. Uh, the Rizillos as well. Oh, and Gun. brilliant, brilliant! That that's is brilliant. So look forward to that. Is Lulu on there or not? Oh, is she not on there? Is she not on there? Is she not on there? But uh, the, wet, the wet, the wet, the wet. On there, all the wets or not? Uh, Fairground attraction. Uh, brilliant, brilliant. That's on there. So, brilliant. Uh, is we Hootie McTooth <laughs> on there? And is uh, is uh, Jamboree? <laughs> uh, what's this? This is another arbitrary compilation uh, called brilliant. Strange and Beautiful. The brilliant. Exodus album, which is quite good. Yeah. The new album by the White Stripes. Uh, the DVD Walking with Cavemen, that TV show that's on on VHS. Uh, it's, it's still got the price on there, on VHS, in case you haven't seen it, uh, Fight Club, and the best-selling book from Michael Moore's Stupid White Men. So, actually, some quite good prizes there, Carl. Not yeah. bad Alright, Carl, what's this, what's this competition? Right, song's a phrase. It's where I, uh, get a line that sort of is said a lot on the show, or has been said quite a lot on the show. Yeah. Is uh, this one Stop Squeezing Me Head? No. Mm. Oh, I could've done that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but what we're doing is, um, my fav- uh, The Elephant Man's my favourite film. Is okay. that the phrase? Yeah, that's the phrase that we're looking at today. The Elephant Man's my favourite film. It is as well. It's yeah. his favourite film. I know, I know. Why yeah. is that again? See, because it's funny and sad, and it, it's uh, you know exactly what you're going to get. Yeah. <laughs> they promise you an Elephant Man, that's exactly what you get. <laughs> yeah. It's good. Have you seen it, Steve? I have seen it, It yeah. is good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Do you remember at the beginning of The Elephant Man? Think of that! Having the, that as your favourite film. Of all the... Hundreds of amazing films. I mean, yeah. uh, the, uh, I mean, I mean, just it's a good film and it's yeah. a moving film. Yeah, but I can't imagine it's a film I would watch endlessly again I don't and again. Care about a bloke with an no, elephant I head? Watched a Do you know? bit of it again huh? the other night? It's one of them that you know just sort of reminds you. You know what annoys me when he goes, yeah. "I am not an animal." Hmm. He is. Well, <laughs> I mean, he speaks like one. <laughs> and what does and the he's elf? He's got, got and a he looks like head. one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it was a bit unfair because they never let him look in a mirror because he's a bit odd looking and it upset him. Yeah. So his hair was always a mess. <laughs> and that made him look worse than he actually was. Yeah, 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 yeah. But good film, get it out if you haven't seen it. That's the phrase today. Do you uh, know, um, my, uh, I remember my friend introduced me to that film and if you remember at the beginning there's a big montage because he is, uh, working in a, in a zoo, isn't he, or he's been kept in a zoo. And there's a sequence of, uh, of various, of elephants, I think, actual elephants kind of rampaging and it's just quite a sort of moody, atmospheric montage. Is he king of the elephants? Could well, he my friend, my friend said to me, when we watched this, he said, what happens is, he gets trampled on by some elephants and that's what makes him look like an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> and I went, right, and I watched it and I thought, that's not the case, and I tried to explain it to him, and he's, to this day, still convinced that the Elephant Man, it's like a, it's like when Spider-Man like, gets bitten by a spider. Yeah, yeah. It was his man, wasn't the it? The Elephant Man. <laughs> the power of an elephant. <laughs> was, it his, was it his man who got- He never forgets. Anyway. Be careful. Is it his man what? Wasn't it his man who was pregnant, and then they ran over her and- No, I don't think so. That's the impression I got from it. No. You are joking, aren't you? <laughs> no. I thought, I, I honestly, th anyway, right, so the phrase is, my favourite film's The Elephant Man. Oh, well, I like yeah. uh, there's five songs make up that, that sentence, yep. yeah. right, this week. Have a listen, see if you can work out the songs, email in, uh, ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk, right, mm. and you win all that stuff, mm. that Steve just said, so, uh, mm. right, here we go then. The Elephant Man <laughs> <laughs> that was mostly done. Genius. Right. Let's hear it again. Yes. Here we go. Five songs there, The it's Elephant not, Man not is so hard, this my really favourite film. Well, I thought we'd make it a bit easier. Make it a bit easier, yeah. yeah. Just, right. just one more. The Elephant Man Uh, email only <laughs> ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Brilliant. Have we got the results of the, uh, quiz, Carl, or? Yeah. Yeah, I'll just play it one more time. It was Songs of Phrase. Is this <laughs> the last time we're doing this? Oh, I thought so. I thought it worked better this week because it was actually doable. Yeah. Um, I think that makes a difference, Carl. We haven't done Carl's an idiot, yeah? Carl, you're an idiot, have we? Oh, well, that's a reason to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can end with that one right. when you come yeah. back. All right. right, well, the five songs that made up this little thing here was 
Mysteries, Beautiful Blues, Eels, Innocent Man, Billy Joel, in my favourite waste of time, Owen, Owen Paul, Boom Rhapsody, Queen, Brilliant. Girls on Film, Duran Duran, it sounded like this. <laughs> The Elephant Man is my favourite film. Hang on, was Bohemian Rhapsody in there? Yeah, yeah. it is. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, well we're gonna give that to, uh, Piley. He just calls himself Piley. Ian Pyle. Uh, good work, Piley. What's happened to Anders? Well, I, I was just gonna say, actually, we've not had correspondence from Richard Dicky Anders for some time. The Dickmeister, Dickmeister yeah. General, with his, his naughty, naughty insulting ways. Yeah, Anderson used to email regularly. Anders! Get on your computer! Get in touch, mate. What just do you tell think us what you think of the show. Oh, hold on, though. To be fair, um, he was listening w when we were pretty shoddy. Yeah, I, if he's listened to the last three weeks, I think we're owed a little apology from you, Dickster. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, listen, Piley, um, we want to send you all those goodies, including Scottish rock, um, but, uh, we don't have your uh, address, so, uh, email in your address. Um, Songs of Phrase. It's the mighty return of Songs of Phrase. No one has, uh, requested that. It's no. not, not, not due to public opinion. <laughs> 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 a lot of people have requested some swearing. They have indeed. But a lot, we had a lot of emails for that, but go on, Carl. And, uh, <laughs> remind us again what exactly Songs of Phrase is and why we should care. <laughs> it's just a phrase that we take from the show, make up by taking words out of a song, edit it together. Right? <laughs> the phrase that we're doing is No More Cheeky Freak of the Week. No More Cheeky Freak of the Week. It sounds like this. No More Cheeky Freak of the Week. <laughs> right, so... No, that's like, nine on Impossible. Play again. Got, you Play got again. Email I didn't in, hear that. You got to email in with all the songs that you can hear there. Right? There's, I think it's five songs And we just want the names of the songs? Yeah, that'll do. Okay. All right. Should we just hear it again? No More Cheeky Freak of the Right. Yeah, it's it good. It's probably one of the best you've done. It's very tricky, though. It's a, I mean, uh, uh, that's not too tricky. Play it again. No more freak of the week. How many have you got? Do you think, Rick? Just uh, uh, well, I've I've noticed the same person singing twice. Is that a, right? In a band and solo. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and uh, and I know one I track think, straight away from uh, the word. Can I just say I do think naming the, the songs is a bit tricky. Let's just name the artists. Is that all right? What's yeah. the artist? Just the artist. Just change the rules slightly. Yeah. Um, before we play it again, just let you know what the prizes are. We've got on DVD later with Jules Holland louder. Lots of the alternative acts he's had on there. Um, right. A DVD, there, a couple of DVDs with Boogie 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 piano over the top. <laughs> Let's hope so. Brilliant. I can't. Can't Houston wait. Chainer on this Phonics. We've got Sonic Youth, Ash Hole, Queens of the Stone Age, Foo Fighters. Quite good. Um, once again, Cruise of the Gods on DVD, starring Rob Brydon and Steve. Coogan, that was on at Christmas, it's not bad. It's not the um, same one. They, they haven't been sending that back. <laughs> We've been giving out different ones each we week. Have indeed. Uh, this is an album just called, quite simply, I Love You. Yeah. And you'll be pleased because there's the likes of Mel C, Cliff Richard and the Hollies on there. Brilliant. Excellent. The best chill-out album ever. We've got the Beach Boys on there, obviously Costello, Pink Floyd, Coldplay, that's not bad. And this is the one that's most interesting, I think, the American Song Poem Anthology. I've not heard it yet, but apparently, I think what it is, is an anthology of, um, recordings that were made, apparently in, I think, maybe 50s or 60s America, you could, there was a particular organisation, you could send in songs or lyrics that you'd written at home and they would oh, send right. it to music and record it for you. And this is a compilation of them. So obviously it's, there's some quite, uh, idiosyncratic and odd little things on there. I think it's probably worth a listen. So not bad prizes at all, Carl. Let's play it again. No more freak of the week. Well, that's, we got, we started that going. Just the artists <laughs> then. Ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Once more, Carl. No more freak of the See, we're just great. Yeah, not bad at all. <laughs> uh, Rick, um, I can tell you now that the the answers to songs of phrase are quite literally dribbling in. <laughs> um, I think there's two, may maybe three answers so far. So, uh, very excited about that. So, who's the winner? Answers. Well, let's give us, give us the answers first. <laughs> Right, well, this was, uh, this is how it sounded. No, it's not Rob, so I'm calling it Rob, but it's because no, I, I, well, it's all, they're all interchangeable at the moment. Right, Paul McCartney, Cheeky Girls, Sugar Babes, Space and Beatles. Okay. Right? Brilliant. You've really, I mean, if you're not interested in it, Carl, <laughs> <laughs> seriously, mate. Um, anyway, we're going to give the uh, prizes, which are pretty good this week, to uh, James Waters from Colchester. Well, we've got Songs of Phrase, right, Songs of Phrase, then. Um, okay, let's uh, just have a look at the prizes. Let's just remind us again what exactly Songs of Phrase is, because I know a lot of people that put it out of their mind week by week. It's a phrase that's, you know, been said on the show a few times that <laughs> night. Oh, um, but you remember classics, like, uh, what was, what was, what was... We had Hairy Chinese Kid. Yeah, there's, there's this Hairy Chinese Kid. Stop squeezing me, Ed. 
Stop it. Uh, Carl, you're an idiot. Carl, you're an idiot. Yeah. Uh, you know, some c c classic phrases. Classic phrases. And so you use various old time songs and you put them all together and that spells out the phrase. Uh, before we, uh, we, we play that, let me tell you now, you can win. <laughs> Look forward to this. What's this? The new album from the Star Spangles. That's called Bazooka. Is that out? Is that never heard? Of. When's it? When's Bazooka? Out, <laughs> never heard. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. <laughs> uh, the best summer holiday album <laughs> in the world ever. We've got the treats on there include the fast food rockers and oh. uh, Lance Ketchup. Yeah, I'm um, waiting for their second single because I, I don't know what that's going to be about. Sure. <laughs> uh, uh, is it going to be a bit more fast food? Maybe like Pret a Manger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, lovely. Uh, this is very good. Yeah, two discs out. The best of David Bowie. Um, in Spiral Carpets, the best of them. Still don't know how they spin that over over three seasons. <laughs> no idea. Um, <laughs> Bowie's is one. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, we mentioned it last week. The American Song Poem Anthology. That's kind of a kooky collection of, uh, of songs. And uh, we've also got a couple of DVDs here. Stephen King's Rose Red. I've never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> Straight to video. <laughs> yeah. Made for television. Yeah, yeah. And we'll never be seen at the cinema. And I know, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of nerdlingers listening, so they will be loving Richard Dean Anderson in Stargate SG-1. Yeah. Uh, free inside, there's a collector's card, plus you can win some exclusive memorabilia. Brilliant. So I think a pair of, uh, there Right, all you've got to do is listen to these, like, 13 songs, <laughs> probably, to a well-known stupid phrase. It's, it's only seven, seven different songs, right? Well, just get the most you can. Just get the rough artist or song it'd, it'd do, right? And the and phrase is, um, about me dad nicking from, uh, telephone boxes, right? You've got to give them a clue, because they've got to get, they've got to know what they're listening for. It's, it's hard enough when you know. Daddy's never gonna stop robbing from telephone box. Is that it? Yeah. So what are these, what are these songs then? Uh, go uh, on in. It doesn't matter that some people don't know what that's about, do they? It doesn't matter. No, they're not, they're not, well, they're, well, they're your father's a thief. <laughs> email only, ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Let's hear it. Alright. Daddy! 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 From... Alright. Also not, um, grammatically correct, <laughs> no. but, so it's... Daddy, Daddy, never gonna stop robbing from telephone box. <laughs> Rubbish. Unbelievable. Play again. We, oh. I think we just need the song. That's all we're after. Yeah, yeah. just the songs. Right. Just again. Well, this is a desperate right. feature. It isn't really it? is awful. See, Rick, if we took more of an interest in this show, we'd have come in, listened to that, we'd and said, said we're no not way. Play it. We'd have said, no way. I don't care how long you spent on it. We've got a reputation. Yeah. We've won awards. We've won major awards. We're not putting that tat out. But, yeah, no. You know, we, that's what. That's what but happens. we're just giving the listener what they're used to. <laughs> exactly. So uh, I think more fool them for listening. Ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. <laughs> now then, uh, we were playing earlier Songs of Phrase. Um, we have had. I mean, the, the, a the, the answers I could literally count on the fingers of one hand. <laughs> um, <laughs> now, the right answers, even less so. But, um, do you want to play it once more, Carl? Oh, God. Daddy, from there was, uh, um, <clears throat> seven songs in there. Right. Read them out. Go on. What are they? It was, uh... Oh, have you ever got it written down? No, I can remember them. Daddy Cool. Right. Bernie M. Bernie M. Yeah. Uh, never gonna give you from up. Rick, Rick Astley. Astley. Yeah. Uh, um. Write them down. Stop. Sam Brown. Right. Stop. Robin was uh, Miss Robinson by Sam and Garfunkel. Mrs. Robinson. Yeah. Uh, hang on a minute. That's not Robin. Oh. From From Russia with Love. Matt Monroe. Right. Telephone. Telephone hanging on the telephone. Blondie. Right. And then box. Living in a box. By <laughs> living in, in a box. box. Well, listen, no, Brilliant. I don't think anyone got them all right. No. If you did get them all right, I'm sorry, but I gave up checking the emails a long, long time ago. <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna give it- I'm gonna give it to Michelle Flower, cause she got a few of them right. Yeah. Okay, so quiz time. I know everyone's been looking forward to this. Which quiz is well, it? Well, we're gonna play along, because he's done, uh, Songs of Phrase, where he, uh, cuts up, um, uh, bits and pieces from, uh, uh records, you have to guess the title or the artist, and, uh, makes a well-known phrase, i.e. a phrase that we've said a lot, and, uh, the challenge is that me and Steve have got to try and work out what it is as well, before we tell- we will tell you the phrase, but let me just see if I can guess. Play it. Tell me why, tell me why, tell me why. Play the game of swing. <laughs> right, 
I know what that is. I didn't hear it. Can you play it once right. for me? Right. <laughs> I know what that is. Right, it's why don't they play the game of swing ball? Because that's what he said when he turned on and saw people in wheelchairs playing tennis. <laughs> and his point was... Tell me why, tell me why, tell me why. Play the game of swing Oh dear. That is so naughty. This show's been a bit naughty, I think. I don't know what's happened to us. I think it's, it's that, like, um, sort of end of term sort of madness. But yeah. I think we've got to calm down here. We've been a bit naughty there. We've we said, you know, bloke with two dicks. We said Chinese people don't talk properly, which is a little bit... Offensive. Yeah. You know what I mean, Carl? Well, they don't, know. Right, okay, let's leave it now. Okay, stop there, Carl. Carl does not necessarily reflect the opinions of XFM or any yeah. other human being. If you think that me and Steve are moving offensive, we are strongly behind the guise of irony, satire, and ignorance. Carl only has ignorance yes. and hate. <laughs> yes. No, 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 but as long as you say something good about someone, you can also say something bad about them. <laughs> How does that work? Go on, and give us an example. Well, Chinese. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Great people, right? Good. That's really, the, that's the, the women, good women really good looking as, as, as younger people. No! What are you older. doing? I'm, ju I'm just saying, as long as you, you know what I mean, there's good and bad and everything. For every well, what are the old negative. ones like? They, they, they don't age well. <laughs> what no, do you mean? The fella in Karate Kid, the teacher, was only about 36. <laughs> we started this! We started this! Oh. oh. Fact. Uh, so, song to <laughs> phrase, email in <laughs> ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk, right? I mean, I have to say, Carl, it's very tricky this week. You've got some very obscure sounding songs there. Yeah, just all we want is the artists. Well, right. I think just the song, Carl, mate. I no, think actually, that's, that's hard. hard. No, I no, think that's hard. hard. Yeah, the artists. Just the artists, I know. Artist, I know. Okay, so these are the prices this week. Well, let's, got... let's play it again so they can hear it. Try okay. and work out all the different artists. Yeah, why don't they play the game of, the swing, game ball. of swing ball? Right. Tell me why, tell me why, tell me why. <laughs> it is tricky. That is tricky. That is good. But there's some great prizes, um, <laughs> including Carl, I can't help but notice, torn from the current, well, I think today's issue of the Daily Mirror. What is giving away a it's, giveaway? It's a free CD from the Daily Mirror, which you can buy it, you spend 30p on the mirror, you can get this anyway. <laughs> but it's still in the piece of plastic <laughs> I that it came in. I love it's that. ripped. Anyway, there are some other treats. Oh, you you'll be loving getting that through the, uh, <laughs> the door. <laughs> so there's a, uh, the jingly jangly sound of summer. Good vibes, a two CD set featuring music from Crowded House, R.E.M., Simon and Garfunkel in the Beach Boys. I'll tell you what, I, I've got the thought of another game. We can put Carl's into theory, right? I can, I can tell him a sort of like a, a, a person or, um, you know, a, a people or a place, right? Uh, or a, a profession, and he's got to come up with a good and bad. <laughs> a good and bad thing. This, this, it's, it is dicing with death. Yeah. Are we ready to do this? Well, listen, if we're quitting in the next couple of weeks, then who cares? Okay. Um, good and bad, right? Well, hang on, whoa, let me just tell we're on the prizes here. All right, okay. So now 55. I know okay. there's a lot of XFM listeners who are going to be looking forward to the likes of S Club 8 and the Fast Food Rockers. They're all on there. <laughs> I can't wait. What is their second single going to be about? <laughs> the Smashing Pumpkins. This is quite a good little compilation of um, sort of B-sides and live performances and stuff like that, which is, uh, which is not bad. The best summer holiday album in the world ever. I think we've given that away in the past. All sorts of stuff on there. Plus the director's cut of True Romance on DVD, the uh, Tarantino scripted. Oh, it's a great film. Tony Scott That's directed great art. movie. Oh. So there's some quite good prices. Let's just play it once more. So email in Ricky Why do they play the game of swing ball? Just, just the artist, yeah. That's all we're after. Yeah. Very tricky. Brilliant. Very, very that is brilliant. Right. Put a song on now. What? Let's put a song on. Bit of uh, Farrell, Farrell Williams. Yes. Good and bad. Good and bad. Um, old people. Darkness, I believe in a thing called love, on XFM 104.9, Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. Carl set the ball rolling with, um, songs of phrase, why don't they play swing ball, referring of course to, uh, people in, uh, wheelchairs who play tennis, because he was disappointed they weren't getting around the court quickly enough. 
so why didn't they play swing ball? Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> Someone just emailed in saying because if they hit it to the top, they wouldn't be able to reach it to unravel it. Exactly. Which is a good point. Yeah. But I mean, nonetheless, good and bad in people in wheelchairs? Do you want to do that? Good and bad. Good and bad things about people in wheelchairs. Um, good and bad. Yeah. Um, I suppose, I don't know, really, they, they take up less room in cinemas. They've got their own seat. <laughs> Um. Good. That's good, is it? That's that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, well done. Well done. Oh, what's well, bad? Uh, don't know, I'll have to think about it. Okay. But, uh, well, let's leave that, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you started it. <laughs> Long's a phrase. We've had very, very few entries. I really think people aren't interested. They really have just given up. I mean, seriously, Carl, That's the one thing, that's the one thing you contributed to this show, Carl. And it's, it's the, the week. Link, it's I the think, link. in the chain, the missing link. Oh, do you reckon there is one, Carl? Do you reckon they'll ever find the missing link? Wandering around Manchester. Wait a minute, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> um, the stats then. Let's have the answers if we can. Right, it was uh, well, specials. Let's play, play it once more. All right. Tell me why, tell me why, tell me why. Specials. Yeah. Jermaine Jackson. Play the game of swing. Uh, right, it was uh, play the game of love. Uh, I think that was Wayne Fontana and the Mindbenders. Right, you right. think, but you're not sure. And Louis Armstrong was the, uh, don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Queen, don't stop me now, we're having a good time and that. We're having a ball. We're having a ball. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, so, considering you yourself weren't entirely clear, I think it's only fair to give it to Paul Brown, who got some of the answers right. Uh, we're gonna do songs of phrase, by the way, where, uh, Carl picks out a phrase that he might have said once, mm. uh, tries to find words from songs to put it together, you've got to guess as many as you can, song or artist, I can't remember. Um, but even though you might look at it and go, that's mental, I don't know any of them, you might win if you get two, right? I mean, I think the winner last week got about three out of three Well, I have seven. to be honest with you, I mean, last week, I mean, Rockbusters, surprisingly, was a very, very popular quiz. Yeah. It just happened to be put awful. Yeah. This one is pitiful. I mean, it's truly atrocious. Yeah. And it really doesn't even have a fan base. I mean, there's no one championing this one, Carl. Last week, seriously, mate, I got about oh, seven- Oh, Carl's face! Seven or eight that, replies. That, is, that, oh, God, that's terrible. That was like when you told a kid that you couldn't afford a Christmas present this year. Look at his face! Yeah, it is a bit distraught. Carl, it's, it's, it's like Chris Evans' face when they said they were cancelling girls and boys. <laughs> <laughs> But I can, I can come up with great TV game shows <laughs> like that. No, you can't, Chris. Not anymore. Ah! Oh, his little glasses slid down his <laughs> nose. I'm the guy who don't forget your toothbrush. Yeah. What all that money you owe me? No, you owe us. <laughs> oh, for, <laughs> believe it. All right. So, will I just play it to you and whatever you call it? Try and work out what phrase is. Um, sorry, it's a phrase that might have once been uttered on this show. It was said last week. Oh right. All right. Okay. Brilliant. All right. Here you go. I know you're just sixteen. Good looking all you are. Right, right, right. I know what that is. That's ridiculous. <laughs> what, right? it? what it is, is it's something like, right? <laughs> You're only 16, but you look 26, and the Chinese look older than they are, or something, because he said that. The Chinese that is mental, Carl! <laughs> it's the most convoluted, ridiculous, racist <laughs> piece of material ever to be uttered on radio! Play again! <laughs> I know you're just 16, but look at all of who you are! That's... And look at all the 21. That's because the Chinese look older. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, you've gone mental. All right. Oh, that is amazing. So there you go. The well-known phrase: <laughs> you're, you're 16, looking all of 21. That's because the Chinese look older. Well-known phrase. They're sweeping the nation. <laughs> that's uh, that will be up there with what's up. Um, and shut that door <laughs> if they do a poll. Right. <laughs> so, okay, play it once more. We're after the artists. Just yeah. the artists. Yeah. I know you're just 16, but look at all of who you are. That's
Alright, let's see what the uh, prizes oh. are. We've got, uh, I assume this is the new album from Mower. <laughs> uh, everyone's going crazy for Mower. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've not heard people stop talking about <laughs> Mower. <laughs> so there it is. We've got the new album from the Webb Brothers, um, which might be quite good. Uh, the Polyphonic Spree album. The best dance album in the world ever, which is ideal perhaps if you're having a barbecue and you've got lots of eight-year-old children <laughs> coming. <laughs> the Polyphonic Spree, I look at them and I think, well, you know, they're a pretty good band. But, um, if that album sounds like a million, you're gonna make about like, 40 quid each. I know, it's extraordinary. <laughs> I mean... They're the sort of indie equivalent of the So Solid crew. <laughs> yeah, if you're not gonna make any money, the manager's getting That's 20%. Exactly, yeah. And, um, and also on DVD, uh, Red Dwarf Series 1, so, um, some absolutely barnstorming places. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and if you can identify what artist to use in this well-known racist phrase, <laughs> that's because the Chinese look older. Play it once more, Phil. One more time. I know you're just 16, but looking old, that's... <laughs> oh, Ricky God! Ricky dot Gervais at SFM dot co dot UK. Play record, this is Radio Works. Just a couple of emails just to update you on what's coming in here. Go on. Um, Natasha has emailed us. She says that she's of Chinese origin, and at 27, she often got mistaken for 24. So your notion that Chinese people don't age well is obviously uh, factually incorrect. Yeah, well, we didn't need... Uh, thank you for saying <laughs> but I mean, uh, honestly, trust us, Natasha, we didn't need you to tell us that. We what? know Carl is talking absolute nonsense. Wait till you get to 30. <laughs> 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 oh, dear, now this is, uh, this is quite a nice email from Paul. He says, uh, let Carl know that I have a Chinese friend called Oi. Imagine the confusing and amusing situations we're getting to. We're out and about in yeah. busy Soho. Oi! <laughs> is your surname? Come here. <laughs> a lightning wit from, uh, from Carl. Wait nice till you're 30. Yeah, I know. Brilliant. I know. But no, oh. actually, we've had a surprising response to, uh, Songs of Phrase this week. Despite the fact everyone has agreed that it's a race list, <laughs> they've but nevertheless uh, had a go. So, uh, keep your answers coming in, um, Good. because we may as well. You're a hit, cut. I'll right. play it again and give the answers. Here we go. Songs of Phrase. Songs of Phrase. Name what? the artist. Name the artist. I know you're just 16, but looking old. I oh, you cry. That's... Oh, Oh, well, that's Philip Bailey again. That's too little. Right, it was. That was uh, Roxette. The look. Yeah, yeah. Right, we had uh, you and Cry started yeah. It off. Yeah. Uh, in sixteen, that was Dean Martin. Because oh, yeah. Jane Jane's that's addiction. addiction. Yeah. Because cars. Yeah. Chinese Philip Bailey. Philip Bailey. That's second out. He's had uh, last one. Uh, we used him for Chinese. With those as hairy Chinese kid. He's never got so many royalties being used <laughs> in racist uh, game shows. Brilliant. Then Roxette and finishing with George Michael. Oh right. dear. So brilliant. Who's right. the winner? Well, the winner actually. Uh, it looks to me like he's got all of them here uh, from Bognor Regis. It's Stuart Burke. Listen. Do you want to do? Uh, do you want to set up songs of phrase? Yeah. Oh God. Oh. Um, if you've not heard the show before... I thought we weren't doing this this week. I, I thought, thought we weren't. No, we'll, we'll do it once, right? And then next week's the last one, so we'll do Rockbusters. Leave, leave yeah, that might be the last one ever, depending on whether Carl decides to come back yeah. in October or not. Exactly. I'm bored of it. I told you I'm bored of it. Why are you bored with it? I get bored quick with stuff. Yeah. I told, I told Suzanne the other night, I'd look as she was, that <laughs> I haven't got, not ri got rid of her yet. She's... <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> Things... You put, you put on a soft music though <laughs> first, didn't you? You didn't just like, start getting that around and... Yeah, you, you, know, you, you, you know you're a very lucky girl. Sorry? Well, I usually get bored with you and that. Yeah. Oh, do You're lucky you haven't pissed off. Yeah. Do you want all the champagne or what? Well, she was Carl, annoyed the other Carl, night. what's that on your ear? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Pigeon shit, aren't it? We walk into the pictures, right? To go yeah. and see, uh, Bruce Almighty. Sure. Why? And, uh, just something to say, innit? Yeah. So you were you were trying to sneak in the back. <laughs> so uh, on the way, cutting across Leicester Square, uh -huh. and uh, those fellas who sell roses, he comes over. Do you want one? Do you want one? So don't do that. She's allergic to them, right? So so he'd go away. Yeah. She got all annoyed about that because she's not allergic to them. Well, she's not allergic now, but uh, they're about three quid each. <laughs> <laughs> she go, what the, what but the point of that guy is what? not that she really wants a rose, it's that you're willing to spend three pounds on her. Taking us to the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> How much was that? That was eight quid each. Mm. Did you yeah. pay for it though? But Did didn't you, you ever, if I, if I know you, you had her dressed up as a small child. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Me you, and my son, please. Or you've made us sit on your shoulders and wear a long coat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Anyway, listen, songs are phrase then. <laughs> you oh. paid for it to go in and then you went and had a pint while she watched it. <laughs> yeah, there's no point both of us seeing it, but tell me about <laughs> tell it. Tell me what you? it's like. Oh, right, songs are phrase. So let's Again, explain what songs are phrase is. You do it. Okay, oh, really? Um, if you think that Carl is bored with life, then you will be even more bored <laughs> once you have heard this particular quiz. The gist of it is that Carl has taken a well known phrase well, or saying. Well, no, stop me there. Not a well known phrase. Something that he said once. On this show. Yeah, probably. And he's somehow com uh, compiled together a number of different songs which have somehow <laughs> built up that particular phrase or sentence. Um, if. It's anything about Chinese people. Philip Bailey will be involved. That's all I can say. <laughs> okay, let's hear it then, Carl. Television. Right. All right. I don't oh, know what that is. I don't is. know what that was. This is appalling. I don't know this what is appalling. That is. Carl, Carl, I do not know what that is. What is the phrase? I just was saying last week about everyone's raving about Galileo. No, they're not. <laughs> no, they're not. No, no, they're not. No, that sounds they're like not. a sort of B-side from yeah. the Buggles. Everyone's raving about Beyonce and uh, Robbie Williams. Yeah. They're not. They're not. They're, people are going pop what, idol. What are you into? Galileo's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Forget it. Forget it. No. We were doing songs of phrase. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh god. So what is this phrase? What is the phrase, Carl? Last week we were talking about Galileo. Right. And I just was saying. <laughs> Years ago, I, I can't remember now. When was it? When was he doing his thing? End of the sixteenth century, I think. Right, and he was messing about trying to find out about speed of light or something. Is it? No, he did lots. Of, he did lots of stuff, going along. All I was saying is, Gravity, back then, yeah, surely yeah. everyone was saying, "Stop messing with that. Make us a telly." You know what I mean? There was other things that people would have been happier with. Sure, back then. Like they, yeah. Like they so know. the phrase is the phrase exactly is what the well-known uh, phrase is what uh, Galileo. Uh, well, it goes like this, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right. So it's Galileo's stop S talking to me talking about, about science. science. Make, Make me, me television. television. Make me television. Yeah. So you email in with with the bands and that. Brilliant. <laughs> right, let's oh, that, that, that is rock bottom. I mean, the, the well-known phrase being Galileo stopped talking to me about science, make me television. <laughs> as a well-known <laughs> phrase is the, one of the weirdest things I've ever- forget jizz out of windows and things like that. That is the weirdest thing I've heard on radio as a competition. Can we have that one next week? <laughs> um, okay, well here, here are the prizes. If you, if you think, Rick, that the, <laughs> if you think the quiz has hit rock bottom, wait till, wait till I, I tell you these prizes. No, brilliant. Um, oh. I know that, um, we're very much pushing new music on XFM and it's an alternative music yeah, station, yeah, yeah. so you'll be pleased that we're giving away, now that's what I call Music 55, <laughs> featuring the likes of Busted and, uh, Daniel Beddingfield. Brilliant. Uh, you really know how to cater to our audience, don't you? The best dance album in the world, that includes, um, DJ Sammy, Scooter, <laughs> and, uh, Liberty X on there, <laughs> so I look forward to that. Yeah. Uh, this is not so bad, Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds, uh, a live DVD of a, <coughs> pardon me, a performance, uh, and some, <coughs> pardon me again, but, <coughs> anyway, <coughs> <coughs> that basically sums up the prizes. So uh, I won't tell you the rest; they're all monotonous. But uh, anyway, <coughs> I think those crisps, Rick, have gone down the wrong way. <laughs> or although I was eating goulash earlier. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. So anyway, yeah, that's- that's some of the prices. <laughs> and you can win some tat. So if you can identify these artists- The well-known phrase, Galileo, stop talking to me about science, make me television. Galileo! <laughs> 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 just- It's appalling. Bit easy this week, I think. I those, yeah. Play a record, Carl. I mean, it's ridiculous. Ricky.Gervais at xfm.co.uk. The pictures. Uh, answers rushing in, we should point out, for the quiz. Most of them agreeing that, uh, it's pointless. Um, some people have <laughs> called it- it's, Songs of Phrase, of course. Um, some people have referring to it now as Songs of Arse. 
<laughs> which is uh, more than appropriate. But you'll be pleased to know that it's ending this week, and next week we've got the return of the even more pitiful Rockbusters. For the last one. That's back for the last one. We'd perhaps also need your petitions to Carl. If you want us to stay on the air, then you need to petition Carl, giving good reasons why he should stay, why this show isn't boring, or rather why he shouldn't be bored by it. I mean, you're bound to be bored as listeners, but obviously, uh, he's running out of steam now. What, 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 what are you fed up with? You're just fed up with, in general, are you? I mean, you want your Saturdays back, do you? Just want a bit of a life back, that's all. But, but you don't do anything with your life you when you've got it. Why don't you do this instead of, like, your day job? Can't. It's more important than my day job, innit? That's what earns the company money and that. Know what I mean? Well. So. What you do, why don't you do a regular show then? Sack someone who's, you know, quite well, frankly not put in the way. I've done that. I did that years ago. What do you mean? Done it. I told you, I've done a lot of stuff. Boxing. Done. <laughs> tick. Dancing. Done. No, you turned out, the place was shut. <laughs> yeah, but dancing? When did you do dancing? That's when he, when he went and said, I want to do dancing, and he went along to the, the place, and it was shut, and that was it. And he said, I didn't do it anymore. That's not doing it, is it? Boxing, he had a fight with one lad, then the lad beat him up, and he didn't go again. <laughs> Oh dear, it's pathetic. Well, anyway, yeah, so this uh, is basically our penultimate show. Next week's the, the final, and uh, we're all looking forward to that enormously. Yeah. But uh, that may be it forever then, and uh, this, this, you know, all for one, all, all, you know, one for all, all for one, the Three Musketeers, gone forever. Yeah. I, for one, I'll be pleased. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anyway. Um, You've got something on your air, you know. Monkey news? Well, I was gonna say, the winner. I don't think anyone cares. Oh, come on. It, uh, someone got all of them, didn't they? Well, okay, play it again then. This was Songs of Phrase. We did the The well known with. phrase is Galileo, stop talking about science, make me television. Galileo! The most convoluted, banal quiz on any radio station ever. I mean, I'm including Moyles, Chris Evans, do you know what I mean? Simon Bates. That's worse than anything they ever did. Apparently, uh, Channel 5 have bought the rights. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, anyway, what were the answers, Carl? We had Queen in there, Altered Images, Thomas Dolby, yeah. uh, Beatles, Aretha Franklin. And, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Well, extraordinarily, Tracy and John Burton from Colchester and Essex got all of those right. Why they would want the prizes, I've no idea, but... Right, are we, uh... Competition, then. Come on, then. What is it? Oh. Songs of Phrase. Um, Remind us of this? Um, we got the film one coming up later as well. Oh. But Songs of Phrase is the one where I, I took a popular phrase from the show. Well, no, it's not a popular phrase from the show. It's sometimes something you said once. Oh. There's this airy Chinese kid. Yeah. And, and I get all different bits of songs, so, yeah. you know, I make up that sentence and you have to email in with the artists that you hear. Well, what's right? the popular phrase then? What's this, what's this w popular phrase that's sweeping the nation? Uh, it's what we talked about last week. Go it's, on. uh, my girlfriend had a problem with a marrow. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. Okay. She uh, wasn't your girlfriend. Oh, yeah, but I couldn't find, sort of, <laughs> no, okay. blind date or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, uh... Yeah. So seven, seven artists it's taken to make up this Me song Me girlfriend had a problem with her marrow. Well, that's at least eight, so. Well, maybe I not. I think I've managed it in seven. Anyway, okay. here we go. Oh, oh, I want the artist. Well, yeah. listen yeah. the names the of the artist. artists. Yeah, get what, a pen and paper and make a note. What artist are you hearing here? My with her Very oh, good. Oh, okay. Right, what's so, more? So, uh, what, what the artist? With her marrow. Very good. My girlfriend good. had a problem with her marrow. We want the yeah. names of the artists. What can we win, Carl? Just, just, just can I just, um, recap that story? Um, girl can't run a blind date, um, but when he found out that this girl had some sort of bone marrow problem, he said he didn't want to see her anymore. What's the point in getting to know someone that's going to die? <laughs> yeah. So just that's what you're dealing with. That is what you're dealing with with Carl Pilkington. Would you buy a car with a Duff engine? <laughs> 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 it's a fair point. Ricky Dotjavez <laughs> at xfm.co.uk. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> listen. Sorry, we better get back to the competition. I'm worried that we've. Uh, We've lost sight of that competition because I'm not going to lie to you. We've had no entries whatsoever so far. <laughs> I can't believe that because I actually got up most of those. That's actually a more accessible one. I knew. All, I I think I know all the artists, and I'm stuck on. Um, 
uh, girlfriend, but I think I might know who that is. Let's hear it again. I'm Bye. surprised. Bye. And now I think that's a pretty accessible one. An eh? accessible quiz? Yeah, so no one's. Is the email up or no one's listening? No, well, I think there's a little bit of that. But, um, we, I think we've accidentally closed down the texting. Oh. So if, if you're texting in, <laughs> this <laughs> don't is bother rubbish. About. It really is awful, isn't it? Yeah. Just, just play it again. Hang on a minute. Bye. I'll tell you what it was. We didn't give out the prizes. We didn't say what the prizes oh. were going to be. That's the reason. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think the emails are going to go oh, mental yeah. when they- when they find out it's the first series of Open All Hours on VHS, they'll okay, be uh, yeah. flooding in. Let's see what and the got, Bridget yeah. Nielsen video. Exactly. Right. Oh, dear. Oh, no, God. actually, it's not too bad. Go on. The best air guitar albums in the uh, yeah, in the that's world. still going. That's <laughs> volume that's one and green. <laughs> That'll keep running and running. Uh, Some kind of anniversary box set of a Doctor Who episode with a small model and car. What's that, baby? I'm Alan Partridge series two. That's yeah. worth having, obviously. And yeah. Porridge series three. Okay, good. If not. Uh, Watched all of them on UK Gold, then <laughs> <them> on <DVD. laughs> there's something wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> right. So yeah, let's hear it again. Alright. Bye. Just name the artist. That's all we want. Just yeah. the artist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have we got the results. Yeah. Go on, and what are they? Uh, play songs of phrase. Again, okay, this, songs of phrase. The phrase. These are the songs. Bye. Marrow. My girlfriend had a problem with a marrow. The answers: Sinatra, Prince, Billy, uh, Bill Medley, U uh, two, Shirelles. There was also Dub Pistols in there. Uh, no, well, no, no one got all of them, Carl. Obviously, um, but we'll give it to Mark Cantan. He got uh, what did he get? About six or something. Yeah. Well done. He's from Dublin, so that's nice.